Shadow Light Ten. Unknown to Reagan, I, Agnes, had laced his deep dream sleep with a memory of my past betrayal of Toreg. His preceding dream had fed upon his unknown fears. I intended to view his nightmare after it unfolded in his mind. My magical attempt to breach the privacy of his dreams was swiftly blocked with an enchanted mind barrier. You do not have permission to view Reagan's fears, Thomas telepathically told me. I stared at the magical sphere lying beside my guest bed in gaping fear. I am sorry. Fear not, Agnes, I shall not lash out on you. Do not attempt such prying magic again, though, not on Reagan or I. If Reagan wishes to reveal his past, or our shared past, he shall tell you of his past. Otherwise, you must respect our privacy. I apologize for attempting to infringe upon his privacy. You are forgiven, Thomas replied within my mind. With a groan, Vagan slowly awoke on the cushioned chair. He looked up at me groggily with Toreg's vibrant green eyes. Your golem, Alice, healed my aches. Where did she go? I sent her away. Are you angered with her? He asked with concern. Nay, I spoke with Thomas, who convinced me that I should allow the golem's conscience to continue developing. I shall begin appearing in public without sending my golem out in my place. You do not like leaving your home? Reagan boldly asked me. I stared at his emerald eyes, the inquisitive eyes of Toreg. For a moment I thought Toreg had not died. I do not feel comfortable walking openly in the streets with the townsfolk staring at me, I admitted. I had been born in a village where everyone had been friends with my mother. When I was a child of eight years, she died unexpectedly. The villagers raised me, became my new family. Mobius slew all of them last year except for Bron, Brog, and Tubin's sister. Flammer is not from your village, he asked me. By the creator, he would not have adapted to village life, often a hard life, with his lofty sense of morals. Flammer was born in our kingdom's capital city. I would have left the wizard last year after bitterness grew between us over Toreg's demise. But your friend, the wizard Thomas, often acted as a peacemaker. I intend on avenging Toreg my fiancé, Tubin, and my family, all of the good-hearted villagers Mobius slew. Did Bron or Brog ever speak of our village? I asked Fagan. They ignored me during most of our journey, he replied, unable to mask a pang of hurt from the memory of their rejection. Toreg had also possessed a soft heart, which I blamed for his downward spiral after I rejected his marriage proposal, then regretfully betrayed him with Mustag. Mustargs did not possess an ounce of sensitivity in his cold, uncaring heart. His jealousy stemmed from his inflated self-pride. Mustarg seemed incapable of loving anyone more than himself, and strangely I felt attracted to his arrogance like a curious butterfly fluttering near a wavering flame. With Mustarg near them, the twins could not comfortably speak with you, I explained to Vagan. I thought I could have beaten Mustarg in our fight. I had wanted to pummel him, Reagan admitted. You underestimated Mustog. Were you a warrior on your world? I leaned my perfumed body into the seated body of Reagan, dressed in the same fanciful clothes I had worn in his dream of my past. Nay, I was not a warrior, he answered with regret. I was a wagoner. The wagons of my world do not have wheels. Our wagons are flat and broad. They jet forward on fiercely charged wind current. When a wagon crashed hard enough to damage its flexible frame, I repaired it. Wagons that float on air, I muttered, genuinely fascinated. I wish I could see such wonders. Can we ever travel to your world? Perhaps Thomas shall open another dimensional doorway to our world in the future after Mobius is defeated. Hopefully, I add, I have asked the twin brothers to meet with you down the road at the Golden Mug Tavern. I wish for the four of us to become friends. Would you speak to them now briefly? Your friend Thomas wants us to become close allies. I would like to speak with them without catching Mustag staring angrily at us, Wagan agreed, grinning. I tapped Wagan's thick shoulder with my fingertip. Good. I want there to be trust amongst us. Afterward you meet with them, I shall meet you at Stoneview, a park in Border Town not far from the Golden Mug.